All right. Today I wanna. Oh, wait. Hello, everybody. Today I wanna talk about Zhongli. You know, the newest uh, five star in the game, and uh, according to a lot of people, the biggest disappointment this game has um, produced so far. Uh, I've seen a lot of posts just talking about how bad Zhongli is, how most people don't like him. And uh, I, I think, I think uh, the disappointment comes from the level of hype people had. I think people have seen Zhang Li since the, the game came out. I believe Zhang Li's been, uh, yeah, Zhang Li's been the story since the game's been out. Uh, people have seen him. People have hyped him up. Uh, he's supposed to be this big bad Geo Archon. Uh, Venti's one of the most broken characters in the game if you uh, build him correctly. So they were expecting something like that from Zhongli, and uh, the I, Zhongli just doesn't deliver that to most people. Uh, but I, I think a lot of people have been taking it too far. I think I've from the reaction that I've seen, people are like Zhongli is garbage. He is a waste of your investment. Don't even bother. Uh, absolute trash. People have been going pretty hard about how bad Zhongli is. And I don't, I don't think that's true either. I, I think he's kind of, he falls in the middle. Zhongli's not amazing, but he's good. Zhongli's just good. And some people, they're not happy with that, but that's just uh, the reality of how he came out. He just came out good. Um, all right, I just want to say that before going into the details. Uh, most people already know what Zhongli's all about. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Most people already know what Zhongli's all about. Uh... He's a Geo Archon, his uh, ability, his E ability has two parts. First part, some of the pillar. Pillar resonates Geo damage. Anyone standing in that uh, square takes Geo damage. Second part is that if you hold it, you uh, do a large Geo AoE. I mean, yeah, large Geo AoE. Um, GOE, the Geo AoE breaks other Geo constructs other than his own or your allies. Uh, so it mainly works on enemy Geo uh, shields. So there's not much to it there. Uh, I don't even think the ability is that great. Uh, as far as damage goes, definitely underwhelming. As far as utility goes, the shield is decent. Um, the cooldown of it does allow you to constantly have a shield up as long as that's surviving. Uh, but that's it. It's just okay. I get the okay shield. Um, the pillar is very mediocre, actually. I uh, think the only thing the pillar is good for is generating crystallize, uh, like I'll do right here. Put out the pillar. You hit someone with elemental effects. It'll to, the pillar is going to uh, generate as many crystals as it can. Uh, it's an easy way, uh, just looking at it by itself, to get Geo damage. Uh, it actually worked really well the way I did it. It's lighting the ground on fire below, so they uh, get hit with fire, and then they get hit with Geo, and then they're generating fire crystals. Um, but the pillar that by itself and uh, it's not that overwhelming of a move uh, I don't even think it's that good of a move um, just on its own but the, sh the way the shield work and the way they could easily stack shield in the pillar is actually really good what is really good about him though other than that is what he just saw uh, his burst damage uh, has insane scaling has really large numbers And is kind of the highlight of what he is. Like the biggest thing that uh, Zhang Li has to offer is the fact that his burst does really high damage and has a decent uh, CC ability on top of it with petrification. Um, that's it though. That's that's kind of all Zhang Li is. If uh, normal attacks uh, are underwhelming, I don't have mine leveled up, um, so I won't actually comment too much on normal attacks. They're good for. Uh, they're not really good for much to me. I, I, I just don't see him as a normal attacker. I don't see him as the main DPS. Um, to me, his role is just to support 
DPS. Uh, or support burst DPS, because that's really where everything comes from. Uh, he does offer a lot as far as shields go. As I said, it's really easy to create crystallized shields with him. Um, that being said, I'm not doing a build guide right now. I'll uh, put my build guide out later. I just really want to take some time to just talk about him, because people really hate on him, and I think this is honestly a case of the hype did not match the release. Uh, not that he's bad, but that the hype did not match the release. I thought a lot of people were really hyping him up, and now on release, people are just like, this is not the character I wanted, where's his crazy DPS, where's his crazy damage? Uh, what is this? Uh, where he just doesn't offer that right now. Especially because uh, you could see that he's not supposed to be your main DPS, because if you just look at his uh, stats for himself, the stats that he gets, for leveling up is where there it is geo damage like this is what he gets for leveling up he gets the geo damage bonus and he has no way to turn his normal attacks into geo attacks meaning there's no way to make him a truly geo damage uh main dps that's one of the biggest things i think a main dps needs they need synergy with their kit to be uh, to truly like shine and like Razor, you build him a physical DPS because he has synergy with his physical DPS. And you build uh, Noel as Geo DPS um, because she's able to generate her, turn her auto attacks into Geo attacks. And then further on, you, she's able to augment herself. But um, the point is that like characters who are built for main DPS normally have a way to augment their own damage into an element or their own damage is strengthened by their kit. Like again, how Razor is strengthened, his physical damage is strengthened by the fact that his kit gives him physical damage if he levels up. Zhongli doesn't fall into either of those camps, and so I think just looking at him, you should think, okay, he's probably not meant to be built as a main DPS, or at least a normal attack DPS. But what is he built for? Well, he's built to deal, deal Geo damage. But you see the modifier on these, and it's not even actually that great. The damage is alright. I mean, you know, 3,000 damage isn't bad. But, but, like, if I use a normal attack with a uh, child, the normal attacks for him are better. And sure, you could argue that that's my skill that I'm using to do it, but it, if you look at the uh, rate, uh, the damage rate for its abilities, it's not that crazy. He doesn't have outrageous damage rates when it comes to the attack he does, or even in his skill. So Zhongli doesn't really have anything in the way of building other than his Geo damage. And what is the Geo damage good for? Well, it's not, as we mentioned, it's not really good for his pillar. His pillar doesn't do a lot of damage. It doesn't do a lot. Um, its charge attack doesn't do a lot. Its charged uh, skill doesn't do a lot of damage. Which leaves only one thing, his burst. And I think that's what he's good for. Without a, a 15,000 damage, without a crit. I mean, in the end, I, uh, this is just a non-scripted video. Just I want to talk about Zhongli and the fact that he's good. Like, I... like. For everything I've said, I think Jung Lee is a good character. I just don't think he ever will be what people want him to be, and that's the problem a lot of people are having. They were expecting so much more, and what they were given is just alright, at best. It's just good. Uh, if I was to put him in a t uh, tier list right now, I would probably put him around B tier uh, as a support, um, as a physical damage. Uh, because the Crescent Pike exists, you might place him higher. But as uh, his kit go alone, I won't, I won't uh, put him any higher than a C tier. For his kit alone, not uh, taking in the weapons or builds, his kit alone does not uh, give him to physical damage carry or a normal attack carry in general. Yeah, this is kind of just kind of rambling at this point. 
I just want to make get a video out there. Just my thoughts about uh, him. I do think that ability is really cool. The fact that he could destroy Geo Shield, but again, that's kind of situational. And in the time it takes for him to charge that, there's a chance that I could have destroyed it and killed the enemy already using someone else. So for every positive he has, I do think he does have flaws, and I think that's why I would put him in that B tier right now. Uh, the only thing that I see no flaw with at all, that I just think is a very good ability, is his ultimate. His ultimate is very strong, he has a very low, uh, very low energy requirement, very low cooldown. It's so AoE is large enough that there's a good chance that you could hit enough enemies just by dropping the meteor, that it'll charge itself uh, with one hit. Which again, it's really good. Um, just look at him in general. I, I just think that's what he was built, uh, meant to be built around. You, he was meant to be built around his ultimate. I mean, even taking a look at his, let's see, uh, his talents. The first, the the best talent he gets is your ultimate now scales off of uh, thirty three percent of your max HP. Um, at lower levels, this is actually better than your talent offers, but at uh, higher levels, your talent will outscale this just because he has an inc incredible scaling on his skill damage. Like 640% at um, level 6. I have no constellations on him, but let's say someone does have constellations, they'll have him at level. They'll have this at level 9 with very little uh, commitment at all. Like, he gets really powerful. Um. There is reasons why I would put him higher, but uh, if you start looking at items to build around him, weapons, stuff like that, but like, as a free-to-play, uh, or not as free-to-play, as someone who just pulled one constellation and is expecting to invest the same amount that they would invest in any other character, I, I do think that's where Zhongli falls behind. I, I think he does require different investments. No, that's not useful right now. And that could be a big problem. If you don't want a character that needs so much investment to be good, um, Jinx, uh, the the YouTuber, I, I normally for my tier list I follow the same idea of them. I think every character can be very good in this game. However, uh, the tier list is act is just a resource requirement tier list, and um, like I said, Zhongli the B. Um, out of the box, just pump up his, uh, attack, uh, numbers, pump up his level on his ultimate, and there you go, you have, you already have a decently functioning Zhongli, just not a perfectly functioning Zhongli. To get that, I would say, you need a really good investment on him. And that, to some people, that, that's the problem. That, like... Uh, most players just don't have the investment that Zhongli needs to make him that good. Alright, well, uh, this is just my- I just wanted to get a quick video out just to talk about him. Um, give some of my thoughts uh, about Zhongli. Why I think he is good. I don't think he's bad. I just think that's it. Like, he's just good and that, that was a disappointment to people. They were expecting better. I'll just leave you with a quick meteor, showing you the damage he can deal very easily uh, without any buffs, without me even building him the best I can. Uh, again, I'll uh, put out an actual showcase and build guide to, uh, and my final thoughts on him later, because I still want... I don't, I'm not ready to put out a build yet. I feel a lot of people putting out build guides, rushing their videos. I don't, I don't think it's time. I think uh, he still needs experimentation. I think he still needs better understanding. Um, so it's just my rant video, or not rant really, just talk about I think people are shitting on him way too hard without actually understanding his kit, his character yet. Um, not saying that like it's not founded, because I do think he, he, yeah, he's a bit weaker than... I think he's the weakest released character so far. By far, I think Venti's stronger, Klee has the potential to be stronger, um, Child is stronger, uh, so he is the weakest release character so far, but I don't think that's a bad thing, I think he does fit a different, uh, playstyle and different niche, uh, also unlocks different abilities, I think 
one of his strongest things that I didn't, didn't even talk about here is the fact that um, he could generate so many shields that he unlocks a retracing bolide for almost every character. Any, uh, any uh, normal attack character can easily uh, use retracing bolide next to him because the amount of uh, shield he's able to generate with his tower as, long, as well as his own shield. Like this is just constant shield generation. Another crystal. Then I have his jade shield. His jade shield fortifies itself every time it takes damage, increasing uh, the strength of the shield. I think that's probably his biggest benefit, that he unlocks a brand new build on a lot of characters who otherwise wouldn't even think about it. Like um, like Razor, for example. I would never build a thing Bolide on Razor naturally, but having Zhongli really makes it a possibility, like makes um, that a build that can work. Sorry, the guy was sitting on a really weird angle. Hard for me to kill him. Um, yeah, so. Alright, those are my thoughts. Uh, again, I'll have a full build and actual uh, better analysis on him later. Uh, but for now, I just wanted to put out a little uh, talk. Alright, uh, I guess everyone should have a good day. And um, don't waste your summons on him if uh, if you're expecting main DPS. Like, he's, he's not. Alright, later.